Welcome to Drunk and Delicious, the ultimate food series on late night eats around the world. You may or may not be tipsy, but everything you eat is going to be tasty. Meow. Today's episode, we are in Bangkok, Thailand for late night Thai noodles. I'm talking eggy, springy, mouth-watering noodles. The first restaurant only began serving this dish after 10.30 p.m. Made specifically for after dark drunchies. For this particular restaurant, make sure you guys come right at 10 or 10.30 because there is a crazy line. Let me just tell you, on Drunk and Delicious, this is probably the yummiest, make you drool looking dish yet on this series. Are you guys ready for this? Check this out. Look at this massive pot of seafood yumminess and instant noodles. Oh, look at that. I feel like they literally took a batch of instant noodles and just throw it all in there and then topped it off with a bunch of amazingness. We have crab pieces. Wow. We have meat. We have squid. We have shrimp. We have a ton of goodies. Soup base is a yummy sour tum yum soup. And yes, you may be thinking, wait a minute, is this like tum yum instant noodle? Why, yes it is. Except they put it in this huge pot, they topped it off with a bunch of deliciousness, and this is the kind of food you want late at night with a bunch of your friends. You may be a couple of uh, this in, and you want some of this food. We're gonna taste it, I cannot wait. Let's get some of this noodle. Look at that, oh, everybody loves instant noodles. I'm gonna put some in my bowl. <laughs> We're gonna get some of this soup, Scribble on it. Once you mix the egg in the soup, it makes the soup really creamy. That's gonna give it a nice texture. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. You guys ready? Oh my gosh. So darn good. The noodles are chewy instant noodles. Paired with that spicy sourness, it's just a nice flavor in your mouth. Let's take one more bite. Let's take a bite. Oh, oh wow, that is crispy chicken. I think it's crispy chicken. That was delicious. It's got a nice crisp, even though it's been soaked in that soup. Look at this crab leg right here. It's coated in that beautiful ruby soup, and it's just dripping with it. I can't wait. I'm gonna take a bite. This is so darn good. Try some of this meatball. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Ready? Wow. Mm. Oh my god. The meatball, just like the crab, just once you take a bite, it just melts away. This is this is so good. Oh. You guys, I think. This is Drunchy's heaven. This is amazing. This is fantastic. It's so good.
Mexican restaurant and oh my goodness, okay. Usually I don't cover restaurants that are super touristy. This particular restaurant has about almost 3,000 reviews. It's insanity. And the line outside was quite crazy. This place has been claimed to be the best pet Thai in Bangkok. Is it true? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Now if you guys kind of want an alternative that is like lesser, that is quieter, we did cover that in another video. I went to a pad thai place in Rachawat Market and that one was delicious. So I'm wondering how this one's gonna compare. Right in front of me I have a massive amount of pad thai. I mean look at this. Oh my gosh. I will say there are reasons why certain restaurants are so popular and this one in particular when I was lining outside and seeing the chef cook the pad thai it was a show. It was like a cooking performance. It was crazy. The chef was flipping the noodles. There's fire. There's sparks going everywhere. It's absolutely insanity. I think there is a reason why this place is so popular. Now I'm wondering if the food is gonna taste just as good as what I saw outside. Are you guys ready? So this right here is a pad thai wrapped with egg and you see the two juicy prawns right here. They actually call this small prawn but in my opinion it's quite big. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and taste this amazingness. So pad thai is actually stir-fried Chinese noodles and oh my goodness. It's got that nice beautiful orangey kind of color and oh my gosh, look at this you guys. The thin layer of egg just fell apart and look at the massive amount of noodles in here. I like, I'm just drooling, I'm sorry. I love Thai noodles, they are so good. We're gonna take a good bite with some pieces of that egg. Oh, there's like bean sprouts, carrots, there's all types of good stuff in here. Oh. Oh. That is pretty darn good. It's got a light tanginess to it, a light sweetness to it. The noodle isn't as dry, it's actually got some moisture to it. I think the great part is this thin layer of egg that just adds a little bit of creaminess to it. Oh, this is pretty darn good. I'm gonna have to add some um, lime to it. Yes. I'm gonna add some peanuts. And I think that's gonna give this a really nice crunch. Oh my gosh, yes. And some chili flakes. It just gets more and more festive up in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that beautiful layer of egg. I love the way that when the chef was cooking it, he kind of just like drizzled some egg in a pan, poured the pad thai over, flipped it once, and then it was ready. It was already wrapped. It's crazy. Okay, we're gonna take one huge mouthful. It's ready. So much better with that lime, just adds a nice kick to it. Along with the spicy pepper right here, make sure you guys add the peanuts because it adds a nice crunch along with the chewiness of the noodles. That's very necessary. So the other item that we got, which is another popular item that they have here, you guys can see, um, honestly, I don't actually know what's going on here, okay? I think this right here is dry squid and this right here is just a bunch of crab meat. That's incredible. And right here, I think this is papaya. It's gonna mix it all up and it's gonna be darn good. You guys ready for this? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just shake that in there. Get all the ingredients up in there. Oh, this is like a noodle battlefield. There's like noodle concert. There's so much going on right now. <laughs> Now, now, now we're talking. Now we have everything all mixed in. We're gonna get a big bite with some of that papaya. That's gonna give this a nice crunch, I'm pretty sure. Some of that crab meat. And, ooh, here we go. Mm. Ooh. Mm. That is so interesting. The dry squid, it's got that like nice crispy dry texture. And along with the moist noodles, it's just an interesting bite. And I actually quite like this one. Let me take one more bite. Mm. I like the soft crunch from this. I'm pretty sure this is papaya. It only gives you just a little bit of sweetness. And overall, the crab meat, you can taste that salty seafood flavor. It's not too overwhelming. But really, I think the dried squid is what makes this particular dish different from any other pad thai that I've ever tasted. Let's get a bite into this 
gigantic prawn, even though it's called small prawn on the menu. Mm. Oh yeah, it's pretty yummy. Last item I want to introduce, because it's apparently really popular here, is their fresh orange juice. Now apparently their fresh orange juice has a lot of pulp in it. I love pulp in my juice, so we're gonna see. Ready? Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's like fresh, fresh, fresh orange juice. Tangy and sweet and refreshing. So much pulp. Now, let me give you guys a hint. You can actually get this kind of orange juice at JJ Market, which is a popular market here, for about like 50 baht. This for a small bottle is 85 baht. For a big bottle, that is not really that big. It's about 160. So I think you could try one, see if you guys want it. If you guys are here anyways, might as well get it. In my opinion, this Pad Thai was pretty good. Is it the best Pad Thai I have? I don't know about that. I think it's definitely on par. There's a reason why this is such a popular restaurant. So I think you guys just should come and experience it for yourself. cuties and that was today's drunk and delicious episode here in Bangkok Thailand personally the first restaurant I would definitely crave because instant noodle at night is just amazing the second Pad Thai restaurant I just wanted to try for myself and see what the hype was all about now it's time to turn it back to you guys and ask which other dishes that we tried in today's episode would you actually try especially late at night thank you so much for tuning in I'll see you guys next time oh thumbs up this video bye Nothing here for me